It's another beautiful day and we're so glad you could be here. We are doing a series on wisdom, finding out what you should do and doing it. Wisdom is something that is not something that comes overnight. It's very important we dig deep and search high and low to find God's wisdom. Remember last week's story we heard about Solomon? He is one of the wisest people ever known. Well, today's story is from the book in the Bible that Solomon wrote. It's a book full of wisdom. Let's go hear it. Whenever I need some answers, God, I turn to you. You are my help when I need wisdom. You always see me through to know that you're chasing after me. everybody, it's me, Haley. I thought today we could take a look at some of my past treasure hunting expeditions so you could see some of the perils of my profession. You've been warned, danger 
awaits. When you're searching for treasure, you're gonna need some wisdom. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. In other words, there's always planning involved. You shouldn't just rush in without thinking, like the time I went looking for treasures in the jungles of Peru. Okay, there I am, about to go into a cave, and I kinda missed that sign that says, watch out for large boulders. So, here's what happened. Signs are there for a reason, people. But I learned my lesson. Look. Two paths leading to the same waterfall. The path on the right may be shorter, but look, there's a sign that says, caution, poison ivy. So I took the longer path and you know what happened? No calamine lotion necessary. <laughs> then later I got to the ancient ruins. There's a sign that says, warning, falling snakes. So guess what? I decided there's a safer place to explore. So when you're treasure hunting, it's important to look out for all of the warning signs. And as you'll find out in today's story, that's an important lesson in life too. A lesson I have already learned on my many, 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 many Peruvian adventures. <laughs> all right, not really. I've actually never been to Peru, but I'm getting pretty good at editing photos. Here's me on the moon. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a few. Bye! The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse three. When Solomon became king as a young man, he asked God for one thing, wisdom. And God made him one of the wisest men in the world. Years later, many of Solomon's wise sayings were collected and written down in the book of Proverbs. Check out these wise words in Proverbs 22:3. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. There's a lot to discover in these few short lines. First of all, it's important to remember to take time in your day to stop. Oops! It's easy to get so distracted that you don't stop. To take a breath and pay attention to what's going on around you. Second step, think. Look around you, look ahead, do you see danger? Ask yourself, if I keep doing what I'm doing, what's going to happen? If I say the first thing that pops into my head and talk back to my mom, well, that might just lead to a week of no screen time. If I keep playing this video game and playing and playing instead of studying, I might bomb the test. If I ignore the sign that says, playground closed for repairs, that could mean a trip to urgent care. God doesn't tell us the future, but he has given us the common sense to think through what is most likely to happen right now based on what's going on around us. Oh, which brings us to our third step. Act. Once you've taken time to stop and think it through, it's time to make your move. Maybe you realize the safe place in this case is to hold your tongue and say, yes, ma'am. Maybe your safe place is setting a timer for only five more minutes of game time before you study. Maybe your safe place is to walk right past that closed down playground, no matter how cool it looks. Foolish people barrel ahead without pausing to think. Wisdom stops, thinks, then acts. From the very beginning, God designed people with the ability to think and act according to his wisdom. And that's still true for each one of us today. So don't forget to stop, think, and then act. And as Solomon reminds us, wise people see danger and go to their safe place. But childish people, they keep going and suffer for it. Listen to what King Solomon wrote. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place. 
but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Danger can come in all shapes and sizes. I'm not just talking about physical danger. Danger could be a suspicious looking website. It could be a friend you shouldn't hang out with. It could be a temptation to break a rule. And you might not have a sign to warn you when there's danger, but tell the truth. You know when something is dangerous, or at least you know when something might be dangerous. And that's your cue to try something different. Avoid the danger altogether. Or it's your cue to find out more information. When you want to do something you think might be dangerous, or if someone else is trying to get you to do something dangerous, don't just keep going without thinking about the consequences. Stop and think. Think about what Jesus would do, or talk to someone who's wiser than you. It might save you from trouble. Maybe even save you from a falling snake or two. Ah! Oh! It's not funny. The one thing to remember today is this. Think before you act. Look for the warning signs and avoid the danger. Then you'll be safe the next time you go to Antarctica. <laughs> that looks real, right? It totally looks real. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Stop, think, and act. What a great tip on how we can stay away from trouble. In other words, think before you act. That's how we can put wisdom into practice. Let's pray and ask God for help. Dear God, you're always with us. You're always there to help us make the wise choice. Thank you for giving us wisdom when we remember to put our focus on you. Help us to act as wise people and stop, think, and act with your wisdom. You've given us what we needed. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. Now it's time for you to continue the conversation with your small group or with your family. Here are some questions you can take, turn, take turns answering. Why is it sometimes hard to stop and think? Can you think of a time when you wish you had thought before you acted? Is there something you can do to remind yourself to think before you act? I know those questions might not be easy, but that's why we have to dig deep, right? Who says becoming wise was easy? Let's go dig deep for more wisdom. Have fun in those discussions, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.